Hello, welcome to this video. If you've been following the goings-on of the European Union over the last couple of years, you'll be aware of the directives that member states are responsible for in implementing cookie consent policy. And what we basically need to do is display a pop-up on our websites which tell the visitor that the website uses cookies and that if they want to continue using the website they need to accept and acknowledge that the website uses cookies by clicking a button on the pop-up and an example of a, a website that uses a pop-up is this one and it says we use cookies if this is okay click close it's what you'd call a soft opt-in it means that by clicking close it's like a it's like a passive way of granting consent and if they click learn more it will take them to a page about cookies now it's a nuisance it's really annoying uh, i don't agree with a lot of what the eu does but it, things got serious when this month Google AdSense sent out an email warning publishers that they need to comply and it's not just for people in Europe it's if your website is served up to people in Europe so even if you're in the United States presumably you have visitors from Europe and if that's the case you need to implement cookie a cookie consent solution on your website now the one that I just showed you a minute ago, this one, is actually provided by Google themselves. And if you go to cookiechoices.org, this website has some information. Interestingly though, in the last couple of months, Google seemed to have removed their own solution, which was uh, a piece of code and um, um, a JavaScript file, which you would add to the root of your domain and if I just open up FileZilla and show you what I've got going on here you see that the cookiechoices.javascript well that's what I downloaded from Google and then I added a piece of JavaScript into my site header um, and I visited their site and they seem to have taken it down I mean they're, they're recommending third party solutions one of which I've covered before in a video this one here by Sightbeam, Silk Tide. I didn't like that one though because it was slowing down my website enormously. I mean, it was. Um, I had to modify the JavaScript of my AdSense units and my Google Analytics tracking code. I was actually having to modify it. So when the when the visitor says they want to reject cookies, it would actually switch off adverts automatically across the site whereas this one what this one does is it does not turn off adverts but what happens is when you when they click learn more they're taken to, taken to a page on the website about cookies and from there you can instruct users on how to reject cookies from the browser and usually well in Firefox anyway it's options and then you go into options and you can clear your history and re reject cookies and so on um, so I'm slightly disappointed that Google have um, removed their solution. But what I did was I went on the um, the Wayback Machine, which is part of archive.org. If you just copy this address and paste it in and browse history, I like to go back to last year, to around September, because that's when I originally downloaded the script. And if you go to the 10th of September or well, I think this is the day this is a snapshot when things were different on the cookie choices web here we go look so there's some solutions here and some JavaScript it's all gone now but this is a an archived uh, sc uh, capture of the website and the one I used would have been it was it's this one notification boy see that script there 
that is exactly the same as a script that I've put in here. So I'll go through this one with you if you like. I, I don't know why Google have taken it down. I can't see that it would suddenly become uncompliant, but um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But it fulfills the criteria as far as I can tell. Anyway, so if it's this if it's this one you want, you need to click download cookie choices dot zip. And if you do that, see it's still working, even though the page is archived, the resources are still there. So look, cookie choices dot JavaScript. And I downloaded it into a, a folder of design templates and presets that I keep handy. And this is what I downloaded, cookie choices. Now I ended up modifying it because the cookie was not being set on the root of the URL, rather it was being set on individual pages. So when you click close, you'd visit a different page and it'd come back, which was annoying. See, it doesn't do it now, it's fine. So anyway, let's assume that you've downloaded it and this is the JavaScript. Open this in something like Dreamweaver or Notepad++ and do a search for function space underscore save user preference the u and the p are uppercase click find next and we need to find a line that says document dot cookie equals cookie name plus and right after the y you want to type path equals slash and then semicolon and then you can save that control s oh and by the way so right so that's set the cookie for the for the base url so that should apply it. So when a user makes a decision about the, the pop-up, that should be applied site-wide across the whole site. Yeah, by the way, you can also style the pop-up. So you can change the background color and whether or not the text is centered and you can change padding a little bit as well. Notice that the Z index is set at 2000, which means it appears on top of all the other containers. So it's got priority in the stacking order. Anyway, shut that down. And what you would do now, you would grab that and you would copy it over to your site route and drop it in. So that's that part done. The second part is that you need to add the following script and this is on my website. And notice how it's referring to forward slash cookie choices dot js. So that's referring to the JavaScript that we just copied in the in the root uh, public HTML folder. So there it is, cookie choices dot js, and the path is referencing that file. And this is where you can customize a message. And I've just put we use cookies. If this is okay, click close close message or learn more and if they click learn more notice that it's pointing to a page on the website and it's the cookies policy forward slash cookies and look up there forward slash cookies and this tells the user about cookies and what they're for and what they do and you can usually find information about cookies online, like a, a, um, a template cookies policy, and you can download that, reword it, and use that for your website. And I, re I do recommend that you implement a cookie policy. You want to be as compliant with Google Webmaster guidelines as possible. So once that is in there, you just click Save. And then that is pretty much it, you've done it. Now, why Google have taken it down is unclear. 
Well, I mean, it's cached, obviously, in the, the archive.org uh, Wayback Machine, but they've removed it from from uh, the the present-day version of cookiechoices.org. I don't see anything wrong with with that particular script. It's been working fine for my websites. And I'll, I'll give you a tip. I, I was telling you that I don't recommend the use of the cookie consent by silk tide I, I, I noticed that once i'd installed this here we go look this is a, it, it's a pop-up from the bottom i noticed that my rankings tanked after i added this it was basically becoming prohibitive for people on ios devices and when i visited the website on an ios device because it's a narrow screen what seemed to be happening was that the thing that it was kind of taking up the whole screen so it just it was strange it was weird it wasn't a very responsive um, pop-up and people on iOS devices or any tablet device actually were bouncing and uh, my sites just the traffic went down and the AdSense earnings went down and it really annoyed me and I ended up taking it off and once I'd taken it off the site speed increased, my rankings increased, my earnings increased. And AdSense, in the AdSense dashboard, they have this like quality score for your website. And it's now five out of five for pretty much everything. Whereas before I was getting like two or three stars out of five. So I was pretty pissed off about that. So I removed it all. Anyway, if you want to add to the conversation, comment on this video and let me know what you think. Somebody I recommend that you follow, by the way, I forgot, I should have said this earlier on, is um, Heather Burns. She's a, a web designer, developer, and she's a web lawyer as well. Um, and she knows a lot about these sorts of things. And her website is, uh, I think that's one idea, 15.wordpress dot com digital laws and policies and she's pretty much against the eu eu cookie law here we go so thanks for watching i hope it was useful i'm so sorry that the eu are doing this to you i feel your pain it's really really horrible <laughs>